I love Olivia Wilde. Some of them are so fucking expensive. Her highlighter before her blush, because same. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a slightly different video. I'm going to be doing the following so-and-so's makeup tutorial. Today I'm doing Olivia Wilde because I love Olivia Wilde. I think she's such an amazing actress. I follow her on Instagram. She had a story on her Instagram like literally about three or four weeks ago where she gave out a phone number so you could contact her but it was only I think for the US or something. I was so disappointed. <laughs> also the setup's changed ever so slightly. I'm just trying this out. Um, I created a little like reading nook kind of thing. I really wanted to kind of show it off. I might do a flat tour because I'm really really proud of all the changes I've done while I've been away. As you guys will know from my latest videos, I've had a lot of time on my hands because I do not have a boyfriend anymore to keep me busy. I'm really happy with it and I just thought, you know, bring a little bit of nature into the flat. I'm sure I'll kill it in like 3.4 seconds. Anyway, so Olivia Wilde did one of the Vogue videos where she shows her sort of makeup routine. I shit you not, I went through and tried to find every single one of the products she used and some of them are so fucking expensive. There was an oil she used that was almost $130 for about 50 milliliters. So I'm going to be using the makeup I have available. I really should turn to that washing machine off. Oh. So let's start following Olivia Wilde's makeup tutorial. Hey guys, I'm Olivia Wilde and I am here to take you through my skincare makeup process ritual. Starting with this guy, True Botanicals, Nutrient Mist. I just do a little, a little bit of this. I'm gonna use my Morphe setting spray. I actually normally use a Catrice setting spray to be honest, so I use a setting spray as well. Although hers is more of a botanical mist. I can't afford that. Next thing, the radiance oil. It actually goes into your skin, doesn't just sit on the surface, doesn't make your makeup slip off. Boop, boop, not too much. I don't use face oils. I have really oily skin anyway, so putting more oil into my skin never seems to work for me. The closest thing I have is the Unicorn Primer Drops by Barry M. Stuff's like pink and doesn't want to come out. This stuff smells really nice. I don't use any moisturizer, I just use this. This is your moisturizer. Some concealer. I just put it on my finger and then I just do a pat, 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 pat. She's using a YSL concealer. I do have a YSL concealer, but it isn't like a light coverage like that one is. I grabbed the L'Oreal True Match concealer. She kind of just does it underneath her eyes. I'm also gonna put some on my spots because I do not have super clear skin like she does. I mean, she's naturally so freaking beautiful. Forget how like far concealer goes when you use your finger rather than a sponge or a brush. She doesn't use any kind of powder to set her concealer, but I am going to because I have super oily skin and otherwise this is just gonna crease. Sorry, Olivia. I'm not gonna set the rest of the face because she uses a lot of cream products. Brows. I'm an eyebrow maniac. See, I, like many people in the 90s, really, really, really wanted to have Kate Moss's eyebrows. So I tweezed off all of mine and they never came back. It's okay, because we can fake it. So she's using a Marc Jacobs pencil. I'm gonna use my Makeup Obsession one because this is my favorite. And I haven't just tweezed mine, I have shaved them. I'm fine with that, that's fine. This is where I would put on mascara, but as it stands, I have fake eyelashes on. See them? Fake, 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 fake. I'm a mom. I need to put mascara. I'm gonna use my number seven mascara. By the way, I looked at how expensive like fake eyelash extensions can be, and they range from like 80 to $200 at like some of the most affordable. We know she got bank. <laughs> I've got a job, I'm super lazy, I don't feel like doing it. You too can have these exact same lashes. I'm a cat mom. Eyeliner. It's a liquid liner. I'm just gonna do a really subtle little liner, nothing major. Oh, I'm so French. Just have these with you, Q-tips. I think she's using like a Giorgio Armani eyeliner. I'm gonna use my The Balm Schwing.
my wings went a little big. Never mind. Also, using Q-tips or like we say earbuds in the UK for just cleaning up eyeliner is, to me personally, I just think it's so wasteful. Just consider it part of the process. Uh, guy at, and then just fix it. I'd say the main ingredient of my makeup routine is saliva. I feel like I can do a little bit more. I'm feeling a little bit more fabulous than this. It's a process, right? Okay, I'm happy with that. A little bit of highlighter. I really like this RMS. She's using a cream highlighter and I love that she's doing her highlighter before her blush because same, I do that all the time. I do have a ColourPop blush, blush? Excuse me, highlighter. She puts it on her cupid's bow and the high point of her cheek. Because she has killer cheekbones. What's great is to have something like this with you in your purse. So when you want to do touch-ups throughout your day, you bring a little makeup wipe, you can do your eyeliner, and you can fix it with some of these. Just use that, just use the corner. Okay. Again, makeup wipes, super, super wasteful. It's a product that is so unnecessary nowadays, so. I'm gonna do a little blush. Do that, do that, and I use the same. She actually picked a really bright blush and I didn't realize when I picked my blush out, but I'm gonna use Between the Sheets by ColourPop. She puts it on her lips and her cheeks. She uses her fingers a lot. Stays on clean brushes. Her cheeks and lips. A little bit of lip balm. I don't really use brushes. I just use my fingers. I was trying to find my NARS blush, but I, blush, lip balm, but I couldn't, so I'm using my e.l.f. one. Because I have them with me at all times. And I use this spray again as a kind of makeup setter. Like that. <sighs> <laughs> I'm ready to go. Face is ready. One last thing. I'm gonna put on some deodorant, for everyone's sake. <sighs> and that's it. Great, I'm done. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Other than some really expensive products, it's really cute, it's really subtle. Well, also, she doesn't use any powder, any bronzer, any contour, not that she needs to because she is stunning. And she did her brows, but she didn't put anything, like any gel through her brows. For me personally, I have to use contour. Even if I don't use bronzer, I have to use contour because I just don't have enough definition to my face. Other than that, like, but it is cute. I actually really like this lip balm. If there's any celebrities you want to see, I can never pronounce her name. There's this gorgeous girl on Instagram that I follow. She is an actress as well. She has like a lingerie line. Emily Radikowski. Her video is a lot longer, but I'm gonna just try it out. I just thought this would be an interesting little video. If you guys have any like other celebrity makeup routines you want me to test out, please leave them in the comment below. I would love to try them out. These can be quite fun just to not even have to think, just follow someone else's makeup routine. Subscribe if you feel like it, I really, really appreciate it. My washing machine will not shut up. And I hope to see you all very soon in the next video. Bye!